Hey guys, welcome back. I have another Right Stuff anime package for you today. We're gonna open it right up and get into it. I love opening these boxes. I always struggle immensely. Um, I'm sure everyone else loves me taking my sweet time trying to <laughs> open it. I've gotten faster though. I have indeed gotten faster. Alright. Open that box. I've been waiting on these for like, I would say three months now. Had to wait for everything to come in stock and of course they're pre-orders so some of them wasn't released until like last week. And then I also got this cute little Valentine's Day um, extra uh, freebie that they threw in which was very nice of them because that's when I ordered it. Alright, let's get started. I had a uh, Deco Boco Sugar Days um, little Valentine's Day card also. I had no idea this even came with it. Very cute, very sweet. I'm going to put that beside my book. Alright, the first one we have is World's Greatest First Love, Volume 14. There's a little, like, where it's, like, hanging over the edge. Um, and that doesn't really bother me that much, but I did just want to point that out. Um, I read Volume 14. It's really good. I'm excited for Volume 15. I just love these two so much. Alright, next is my summer review. This was a really sweet story. I will definitely be getting my summer with you. Um, if you haven't read it, read it. It's really sweet. I believe it's um, a 16 plus, so it doesn't have any mature scenes, but gosh, it just makes your heart just feel so warm and happy. And the art is really beautiful in this as well. But I saw so many people on TikTok talk about it, and they were all excited, and I was like, I haven't even gotten yet, it yet, so, like, I don't even know what it's going to be about. <laughs> but it was definitely worth it. Alright, Our Lonely uh, Planet Travel Guide. This is Volume 1. I haven't read it just yet, but I will be here soon. It looks really cute and sweet, them traveling all over the place together. A cute little BL that I figured I'd add into my collection. Definitely... Sorry, I cannot speak. Definitely excited to see this and uh, read it here very soon. Alright, next up we have Wild Wild Wildlife. Oh, and um, I love her short stories. This is also a short story, so I had to get it very spicy, very mature. The plastic wrap is on there for a reason. And uh, next we have I Hear the Sunspot uh, Limit 3. Um, I just started reading this one only like a few pages in, so I'm not really sure where it's going to go, but I really hope they start to settle things and get together. Um, it's just, uh, I read one through five and not a lot of progress, which I'm okay with a slow burn, but you know, I would really like some faster progress considering how many pages are in each manga, <laughs> but it's okay. We have, I was reincarnated as a villainess in an Otami, I think that's how you pronounce it, game, but the boys all love me. Or love me anyways. Um, this was a really great one. I didn't realize it was a novel before this, but I gotta say, there is a huge um, background story that pretty much this whole volume is background, but I loved it. It was so good. Um, I'm not sure if this is a shoujo. I'm gonna assume it is. Uh, but literally so sweet, adorable. Um, I really like the main character in this. Um, she's very strong, but just, it's a great volume. I'm hoping for volume two. I'm not sure if they'll make one or not, but I'm hoping. Next we have Sasaki and Miyano, uh, volume two. Um, it's as great as always. I'm excited for volume three. There was a tear at the top, but not much you can do about that when they're printing so many. That just means it's selling good. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't read this yet, definitely go and try it. It's very cute. Um, it's about a guy who loves BL and someone, another guy has a crush on him and so he starts reading BL because he likes BL, but then he eventually likes BL himself. It's a really cute story and it's rated 13 plus. And next we have, um, Kisses, Macaron, and Lonely Pie. Uh, another amazing um, 
story, all short stories. They're so cute in it. Love, um, I think it's like ch uh, volume, no, it's chapter three in it. Very good. So my favorite thing about Kuma um, Publishers is because they have a slip on the book. Um, and I, I really like that. I don't know why, but I only own three books from Kuma, but each book that I have all has the slips on it. And it's just so cute to see like a little extra side story on the front and back. Um, I don't know. I just find that really cool. I'm a big fan of it. And then same with Wild Wild Wildlife. It also has a slip on it. And it's just so cute to see that. I don't know, I guess it's the neon colors. It's probably the neon colors. <laughs> I'm a child. Uh, no, I'm joking, but I do love just how they have a slip extra on it. But um, very spicy side stories, just all of this, very spicy. But anyways, this is it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Keep reading manga. Bye!